Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. Let's take a look and see who this is from. Feels kind of like a mixed bag of tricks here. Well, but we got cross stitch, cross stitch. And we have a diamond painting. All right. Well, we'll start with the diamond painting. And this comes from FG Normal. Now, I got this little one. I just thought it was pretty. And I didn't understand the picture. I know that's so and so weird. But it looked like it was made on, like, plexiglass or something. And you could probably cut this out and um, do it however you wanted to, since it's not a full coverage, it's a partial. But I thought it was really pretty, and I thought it'd make some kind of a really cool decoration. So, hang in there. I'm trying to get it all straightened out. It's not very big. Got a piece of plastic that does not want to leave my hand. I'm going to turn it around. Isn't that pretty? It has 11 different uh, drills in it. And I say drills only because it's a special drill. <coughs> but it looked like it was going to be on plexiglass. Hang on. Might have to iron this little puppy. I don't know. We'll try. We'll get it as flat as we possibly can. But isn't that pretty? It's got a little bitty cardinal here, and you got a snowman. And then there's this little house scene that you're not going to drill on. You're just drilling everything around it. So there's not too much to it. It's a 30 by 30. And... It was $5.79. Let's look at the drills. It does come with a boat, wax, and a pin. Although on some of the special drills, I use my, well, I'll use this one, my wax pin. It needs to be sh shaved down because it's sat out. My other one has a lid on it, but I don't know where it's at right now. It's probably buried in that. It's working on it. It's working on it. So let's take a look at the pretty drills. We have some aquamarine color in teardrops. We have some marquees that are iridescent in all different colors. Those were separate. Let's flip this around so we can see. You have some little, see how they're faceted? Aren't those pretty? They're iridescent. And you got some teeny itty bitties. Yep. And we have some buttons that are iridescent. We have red. We have iridescent tiny white ones. And we have some yellows. Those are black. I don't know where they're going to go. It's number three. Number three is number three. I was looking to see where those are going. I'm not. Oh, it's his hat. But they're plain black drills. And you have, I don't know what's the difference here. These are round, buttony looking. I don't know. They all kind of look the same. I don't understand. That's a little different. And then you got some silvers. So yeah. I thought it was going to be beautiful. And what I started to say was that you could cut this out and put it um, like on a piece of board or something. I, I don't know how well that would work, but yeah. I thought it was a nice, simple Christmas one and it'd make a nice decoration. You could even almost put it in a big round frame if you wanted to. 
But yeah, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Loved it. For five bucks, you bet. I'll do that. And it seems like I can finish those special drill ones a lot faster than anything else. Okay. So, the next one is a pre-stamped cross stitch. I'll take it out of the bag. It's from DIY. But it's back and get to the edge. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the beautiful flowers and the blues and the greens and the yellows and the reds and oranges. And then you have this beautiful swan in the middle of the, the lake there. I just thought it was beautiful. It had all different kinds of beautiful colors. Let's see what the the paper pattern looks like. It does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Now this might need to be blown up for some. It's okay, I can read it. I usually don't use the the paper pattern that much. And it is has 30 colors, which include no 310. No 823, you have 825 and 826. Uh, 939. No, and 3371, which is a dark, dark brown. But no 3865 for white. For white, they're using 762. So we will see how well that works out. Let's take a look. There's even a little picture there. I don't think that you can see that picture at all. But the front cover picture was pretty enough. Just beautiful. Let's take a look at those lovely threads. Let me grab it here. And it, it has two needles right there. It is, what did I say? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. 60 by 50 so there's no extra threads but look at all those gorgeous gorgeous colors oh my goodness looks like a summer day on a lake with that swan I just loved all the colors they're just absolutely stunning so let's see how stunning the canvas looks but these these are enough to go oh yeah Oh yeah, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. There is a lot of thread there. It's kind of heavy. That's why I thought there was going to be some, uh, what do you call it, extra. We're going to have to move that because, yeah, this is going to take it. I thought there were some extra skeins, but there wasn't. This is not surged all the way around. Very darkly printed. There are three needles there, not just two. Very nice, big key. Very easy to read. All your colors are going up and down the sides. Very nice, big symbol blocks. And the numbers for your, your thread card. But this is just gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, it's got some confetti in it, but, you know, it's when it involves trees foliage you know then you know something's going to happen just to make it look right but yeah there's some nice big areas though you know nice big sewing areas like the lake and then you got some little trees in here with other colors kind of poof poof so that the um confetti is not that bad you got a little bit of confetti, runs kind of as a theme, but you do have big areas to stitch. I'm trying to go as slow as I possibly can and not move that. So yeah, I think it's beautiful. I can hardly wait to stitch on it. It is, we're getting there. 60 right on the button by 
uh, 49 and a half. Actual picture size is 50 across and I'm trying and 39 and a half or 15 and a half by 19 and three quarters almost 20 inches so yeah but it looks like an easy canvas to work on I'm trying to wind up my my little dooley thing here and set it someplace where I'll know where it's at but yeah it's very well printed I'll try to hold it as still as possible very easy to see beautifully dark printed so I like that you know it's not all light symbols I, I just absolutely detest that now this one was 927 so not bad like that okay now this one my friend Jill is working on this and she is doing the counted one so I thought I will try to see if I can get it in a pre-stamp since counted on these are just not working for me and I thought it was a beautiful pattern I've had it in and out of my cart several times and I finally got it and I guess all this time I thought it was um, what do you call it um, blah, 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 counted so nice big key or key paper pattern it is a 40 by 50 it's 148 by 90 191 it is an 11 count so that's good for me and it has 44 colors nice big paper pattern I did not know this was going to be this huge I thought this was kind of a small thing so that's why I thought some of the things would not show up I don't know if I can lay that down flat enough but you have like a pine cone in here you have a deer in here there's a house with snow on it up over here and then you have a nice big bow with some greenery I love this pattern when I saw it. I thought it was beautiful. Just beautiful. And this is very nice and big. Easy to see. It does have how to start, how to finish. Instructions and even how to do your cross stitches. And it has 310. Uh, no 550 purple. Uh, no, it does have 823, no 939, and it does have 3865, but no, is it 3371? I always get that backwards. I keep thinking it's 3771, but whatever the dark brown one is, you know what I'm talking about. I mention it all the time. But yeah, I'm really happy that this is a nice big pattern. Very easy to see. So, yeah. Does come with a little kit with four needles. Nope, five needles. They just fell out of the poof ball thimble. And a needle threader. And we have a plum or cherry or whatever kind of blossom that is. I, I want to say plum blossom, but... I might get that wrong. Then we have these beautiful colors. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Pull that out. You have two hanks of 3756. Isn't that a beautiful mint green? I don't know that that's coming app you know you can see that but it's a beautiful beautiful mint green then you have this which is 762 and it's kind of a pale gray if you will just absolutely gorgeous and it's so nice and soft love it let's take a look at the rest of them the reason I like this pattern I think is because 
it is has like old fashioned colors to it. Uh, so I don't know how well all that's going to show up, but it seems like it's big enough. But we'll have to see. And then it's got some old fashioned kind of ornaments and ribbons here and there, and some more greenery, of course. There's even a tree right there, and the deer in the tree. Like he's coming out of the trees. And it looks like holly. Holly berries. Or could be cranberries. But no there's some more. So it must be holly berries. But yeah. It, it was just. Yeah. It just did it for me. I saw that one. Oh yeah. I've been looking at it for months. It's just beautiful. So we have lots of teals. There's your 3865. Beautiful shades of teal and gold. Oh, gorgeous. You enabled me, Jill. Again. Love it. And then we have golds and pinks. And kind of a coral color. Coral pink, if you will. And then a pale. What is that word? Oh, I can't think. Beautiful colors, anyway. They're beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. You know we're going to have to start this very soon. I know I'm starting a lot of Christmas ones. But, you know, come next year we're going to be set. Because we'll have plenty. Plenty to work on. Just lovely. Okay, I'm going to let me do this. Got to do this or everybody gets separated. And then I don't like it because I can't find what I'm looking for. It's sad but true. What can I say? Let's take a look at the canvas. So the canvas is not too big. It's a little long. You know, it's long and skinny. But I hope it's big enough to pick up the deer. And, you know, it's at least part of the details would be nice. You have all that. 35 this yellow is going to be that pale mint color nice big numbers this is surged all the way around and the surging does not go into the numbers so they're very easy to see so are all the um... <sighs> seriously Laura all the symbols and the numbers for your thread card very well printed once again DIY does a good job, I think. I'm going to turn it sideways. There's some big areas for that 21. And some more of the yellow. So the background, I don't know if it'll pick it up. But there's a couple of different colors here. Just kind of interspersed. But I just, it looks so old-fashioned. I loved it. Absolutely love it. And I love snow globes. Just yeah, that's what it reminded me of. All right. Let's see how big it is. I'm glad it's not as big as the paper. It seems like the paper was bigger. Okay, it's 50 and a half centimeters or 20 inches by 40, which is right on the button. It's like 15 and three quarters. Actual picture across is... 44 centimeters or 17 and a half by bye 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 uh, 34 centimeters or 13 and a half so 13 and a half by 17 and a half is that what that was yeah by 17 and a half so it's not too terribly big but it's not too terribly small so I think you know we'll have a chance to get some of the details in here. And it looks a little confettied here and there, but yet there's ribbons of color all through it. So, we'll have to wait and see. It'll be interesting. And you can see all the, the little ornaments hanging right here. I think they're gorgeous. And I'm looking at this, and this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors maybe eight give or take just off the top of my head but yeah 
I think it's beautiful. I do. Love, love, love it. And this one was not very expensive. It's $9.27. So both of the, the cross-stitch kits were under $10. So that's another good thing. A good bargain. They always they have lots of Christmas stuff in, on their site. So go check that out if Christmas is your bag and you really want to do Christmas cross-stitch or diamond painting. They have lots and lots to choose from. They also have free shipping on orders over 40 pounds. So I'm saying that's between 40 and $50 somewhere. I may be wrong. Or I might have gone the wrong way. You get what I mean. They have tools and crafts for cross-stitch and diamond painting. They have beaded cross-stitch and crafts. Paint by number with tools and crafts. Embroidery with crafts and tools. They also do scrapbooking, wood felt, I mean, wood, wood felt, wool felt, paper quilling, wax sealing, and they have silk screen stencils as well. So they have a lot to choose from on their store. I really like them. The prices are always really, really good. Go check them out. And I ordered this on October 31st. I don't know what day it went out, but I got this on about the, the 15th, maybe. Maybe the 15th of this month. Sometime over the weekend. Or not the weekend, like Monday, whatever Monday was. Was that the 15th? 14th or 15th? Yeah, but do check them out. So it doesn't take very long to get them. About two weeks. So if you want it before Christmas, maybe as a Christmas present to yourself, order a little bit ahead. And yeah, it'll be there. 99% of the time, I don't have a problem with shipping. I had a problem during the big issue. And, you know, but it was taking maybe a month to get stuff now two weeks maybe depending on where you live you know it has to come from China so you know your guess is my I don't know about other countries I just know about mine thank you FG normal for sending me these beautiful beautiful kits if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.